So 2011, okay? And the criminologists and the FBI are working on a profile of who could have done this with these bodies. I have the guys who were looking at it at that time to figure out the profile more than a decade ago. And they were like, you know, 20s to 40s, job, financially secure, well-educated, white male who's married or has a girlfriend, organized, live nearby. Right? So <laughs> if it was pretty spotty, I mean, the only thing they had to say was this is the size of an NBA small forward. You know, it, it, if they were so close, why was it so hard? Scott Bond criminologist, author, followed this from the beginning. And my friend, Jim Clemente, former FBI profiler, New York state prosecutor, um, who, you know, knows the profile very, very well. All right. So first let's set the table about how extraordinary it is that we're here today at all, fellas. All right. So I start with you, um, Scott, in terms of what do people have to understand about how much of a shot in the dark it seemed that this would ever be solved after that initial flush of activity? Well, absolutely. Um, the, you know, there was the crime scene evidence, and then later the, uh, uh, the telephone call to uh, Melissa Bartholomew's sister, but little else. And so, uh, so it's, it's not surprising that it took technology. And I love what you said in the prior segment. It's really technology that caught up to him and ultimately bit him in the butt. And I've been saying that for the last few days. So, Jim, you know, I've been doing this so long. I mean, not like you, but I mean, I've been talking to you about it for like almost half my adult life now. And that is not the profile for serial killers in general, but it is the one that they came up with here. And you have uh, right. understanding of why. Why, Jim, did they come up with that profile that's so similar to this guy here when that's not your typical serial killer profile? Well, Chris, basically what happened was these, this offender was able to at least kill these four women or three or four of these women. And get away with it. I mean, he had almost permanent concealment. They only found skeletonized remains. That means he's fairly criminally sophisticated and probably forensically sophisticated. That gave us the sort of advanced age. He's not going to be in his 20s and be able to pull this off, and 30s would be tough. So we thought mid-30s to mid to late 40s. And then the fact that he kept going back to the same place told us that he's familiar with this place. He knew he wouldn't stand out there. He knew that he's comfortable with the time he'd have to spend alone getting rid of these bodies or concealing them. Also, he used burlap, and we didn't know at the time that it was camouflage burlap, but it's a very strange way to wrap victims. It's unusual, so he probably has a source of that. And maybe now that we know it's camouflage, that maybe he got it from a hunting location. Anyway, the point is that he was smart. He was meticulous in what he did. That would translate to his work environment. So we expected him to be in his 40s with a good job, meticulous in his job. And we expected him to be a sexual sadist. That was borne out when they searched his home and found torture porn. But we knew that he was a sexual sadist because he called up one of the victims and taunted her. So right. all now, these things Scott, leaked out of his own behavior. That's right. So, but, but they, at the time, they were all, fry, you know, all dust in the wind, right? Because uh, nobody was looking directly at him. And it was like one crumb after another. Uh, first, you know, uh, just to get perspective of three different guys who've been doing this uh, for multiple decades. Jim, have you ever heard of anything like this with so many different pieces that needed to come together to catch a guy? Yeah, well, I think it happened in the Golden State Killer case. Uh, that took a very many number of years, almost 40 years to resolve, and BTK as well. And both of those situations, you had a married offender who basically used right. the family as cover. Everybody thought he was legitimate. And I think those right. cases, they took much longer. I mean, three times as long as this True. case did to resolve. True. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.